Hi, just a really quick video. What you're looking at here is this is a new tone IS515 inside remote station and the 515s were used with the new tone IM5006 selective call systems and also the later IM5000 selective call systems. And this speaker was sent in with, by a customer with his IM5006 that was put in around 1992 or 3, I think. He sent the master in for repair. And this particular station, while operationally there isn't anything wrong with it, it's in his sunroom and apparently it gets a lot of exposure from the sun. What do you know, sun in a sunroom? That's a crazy idea. He sent it in because all of his other stations, he said, look really, really good, but this one has turned really, really yellow from the sunlight. And he wanted to know if we could re-whiten it for him. And I said, sure, we could do that because re-whitening a grill on a remote speaker is really the same as doing a master station, only smaller. So we can do that for him while it's here. So I thought I would do a quick video about this to show you what happens to these. This is sort of more severely yellow than is typical, but I do see a fair number of these like this. And I wanted to show you what the outcome of the rewhitening will be like. As I've done in other rewhitening videos, we have a couple samples here to show you. So this one right here, this is our control grill. This is a brand new old stock white 515. And surprisingly enough, although you would never believe it, if, especially if I put it like that and cover up the old one, this one, looked just like this one when it was due. This is the original color and this is how much it's yellowed. This That makes this look extra horrible, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewhiten it with our normal process and what we're gonna end up with is one like this over here. So here's a rewhitened one and you can see the difference is dramatic. Very, very much white compared to this. Now, as I've done in other videos, the only way to do this and be fair about it is, it's what I like to call compare and contrast. If we put the really horrible yellowed one aside for a second, and we take our pristine example one here, and we put the buttons back in this one, and we put these side by side, I think you can see, probably, the pristine new old stock one is white, 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 white. It's bright white. It's washer dryer white. The rewhitened one, it's not quite as white as the original one. It's, it doesn't have that, that extra bright edginess to the color of white. And you only really see this when you put them side by side. If you look at this one on its own, looks pretty darn white to me, don't you think? And especially if you put it next to the horribly yellowed one from the fellow's sunroom. The upshot of this, like I've said in other videos, is if you put a rewhitened one next to a pristine brand new one, sure, you're gonna see a little bit of difference. But if you get a rewhitened one and you put it on its own in a room, you're never gonna tell because there's nothing to compare it to. And I just wanted to point that out because we do rewhiten speaker grills also. And if you have a really horrible looking one like this one here, you can send it in or obtain one of these from us and restore it and make it look like new. That's pretty much it. Just a really short little video about rewhitening speaker grills. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Thumbs up because that always helps. There'll be a banner right here. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell or on the wheel, put in your email address, and every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification so you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.